I want to ask you about something Monica Lewinsky is chiming in on this. She retweeted this from a law professor. Imagine if the Star report had been provided only to President Clinton's Attorney General Janet Reno, who then read it privately and published a four-page letter based on her private reading stating her conclusion that President Clinton committed no crimes. She added, quote, if you get the drift, something <laughs> only. <laughs> Yeah. What do you the, now keep in mind? This is a different thing this than different. the independent yeah. counsel. Yeah, and, but yeah. that was so much information that was put out there compared to what. We've and that's seen. why the special counsel regs were created right. because to avoid another Ken Starr report where everything is put out there about someone, even if they're not charged. What's interesting is I've, I've talked to some folks who say they're surprised that the that line is in there from Mueller that he he. He can't be exonerated mm -hmm. because someone said, look, that's kind of like what Comey did, sort of this public shaming. Normally, what you do traditionally by the book, if you can't reach a consensus to prove someone committed a crime beyond a reasonable doubt, you decline to prosecute. And that's the end of the story. Mueller definitely sort of bucked what was expected of him in this sense by going to Barr and, and Rod Rosenstein and saying, you make the decision here. I mean, it does raise the if, question, was there some sort of internal If he testifies dispute? before Congress, though, he'll be asked, why did you do this? Well, let's will. hope, right? right? And then we should have an idea as to his thinking. Do you think we're going to see that? Well, he may not testify before Congress. Uh, we have, you know, we have no idea. Personally, I think this is kind of a mic drop from, from Mueller. I think he thinks his report may be made public at some point. But because of that sentence that we're all talking about, what we really need to see is the report itself. That's right. Because Clearly, as, as Pam was saying, there might have been a disagreement among the attorneys. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. we just, that he might have thought I needed to subpoena yeah, the yeah. president. We just don't know. The question that I have, and I don't think we know the answer to, is did he intend to punt it to the attorney general to make a decision whom he knew full well, didn't believe in the theory of obstruction because he had written a memo about it? Or did he really want it to go to Congress and be decided by Congress? I would say, he wanted it to be decided by Congress. What do you think, Pamela? Well, that's an interesting question. A couple of things here. I was talking to one person close to the process today who said it was clear that Mueller wanted to send the signal that, look, Trump is exonerated legally on obstruction. They didn't find enough to to bring that mm -hmm. to show that he committed a crime, but that he has not been exonerated when it comes to his behavior right. and character. And Bill Barr, the attorney general, basically had to include that in his memo to Congress because Bill Barr likely knows one day Mueller's report could be made public and he can't look like he's hiding anything. And so the question is, did Mueller put that in his confidential report to Bill Barr knowing it would have to be made public by the attorney general, sending a signal for this is something that Congress should look at, the behavior, the conduct here. But if it goes to Congress, it would be an equally political decision. Exactly. That's a whole other yeah. animal. <laughs> well, but the this law was written to take it out of politics. You appoint a special counsel because you want somebody who's nonpartisan to, to do the investigation. Instead, what occurred, the irony of it, is just the opposite, because mm -hmm. Mueller punted the attorney general ran with the ball. I know, football analogy. Uh, the, the attorney general ran with the ball, and he is a political appointee. As is Rod Rosenstein. As is Rod Rosenstein. So this isn't the who way the law jointly made the decision work. with him. Yeah. Um, I, I was speaking to someone who said, the Democrats should be careful what they wish for in calling <laughs> Mueller to the Hill because he is no one's puppet. And he may say things that they don't want to hear. Yeah. I want to hear it. Yeah, you exactly. want to hear it. We, Gloria I want to hear it too. Pamela Brown, the American people, a lot of them want to hear it. They may not exactly. like what they hear, but I a lot agree. of them want to hear it. Thank yep. you guys so much.